Here's a weird one for you. So I'm not trying to turn this into a tractor repair channel by any means, but sometimes things fall in your lap and, well, you can't really pass them up. In this case, this was listed for $150 and got it for $125. I do a lot of messing with tractors. That's because my family owns a campground. They have a lot of places to mow. So we have a big, well, they have a big Kubota that does the majority of the mowing, garden and lawn tractors for whatever else is left behind. There's a lot of wear and tear because they get used a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. They have one almost identical to this and they thought, well, worst case scenario, uh, it'll be a parts tractor. The starters alone can be well over a hundred dollars by themselves and tires that hold air, they aren't cheap. Those ones are Sears branded, I just noticed. Interesting, they're probably the factory tires that were on this. It's those couple of parts, potentially double what was even given for this tractor. But it's uh, a little quirky. And that's where I come to the picture. But let me just show you why it's actually here at my house. I think every tractor should come with a jump box. From the factory, because they always seem to be dead. So let me set this right on top of the flywheel fling it off there at lightning speed Boop. quite literally have just glanced over this tractor and that's it nothing cool let me whoop oh my gosh it's really slippery <laughs> about fell Obviously a big oil leak right here. I figured that that probably right there was the issue. We'll find out a little bit later. Let me soak some of this up and see if it gets wet again. But oh, there we go. It can be turned off with the key and it's getting power from the key because we're charging, we have spark and all that stuff. It's just in the start position leads me to kind of wonder if maybe there's something going on with the ignition as well. I think maybe the reason why it's shutting down though is because of the PTO. That's just my initial gut feeling. And I, I did play with this switch to see if maybe that had anything to do with it. it didn't seem to make any difference. I'm gonna set that there. So I'm surely gonna lose it. This all goes to the PTO and I'm guessing what this is all about here is a bypass of the safety. This is still a question mark. I have to trace that back. Ooh, that's pulled really, really tight. There's something cut off there. I'm guessing that's the safety switch, but that leads me to believe that this is how it probably should be because this goes right up to that switch. So we should maybe, let me try this off. 
So still nothing at the key, which is not surprising. I still think the source of all of our problems is like right in here somewhere. Or not all of them, but a lot of them. <sighs> Let's see. That blue wire, the light blue wire, looks like it goes, it should go to the ignition switch. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's see if we can power to the solenoid. Nothing. Okay. So I pulled the switch just because I think it's going to be way easier for me to try and probe around to figure out what is going on. What is this for? Those are. What is. What is. What is you? Where are you? Because the big question mark that I have is is the switch good? for starters. I can bypass it, of course, and that's not a big deal because it is running, clearly. Because right now we're in a key on position. So I should be getting power somewhere. Maybe it's not in. Following the solenoid wire, we got blue. comes up in here to this top, from our perspective, top left, and then it turns to white, which goes back up to the switch. This one right here. Nothing. Nothing's from the switch when I turn it. So I just unhooked the PTO altogether here with this, which goes down to all those nasty wire nuts and everything that are just floating around down here. There's something going on, pulling this out of the equation, seeing if maybe when we let out on a pedal on the other side, if it does anything different. I've done a little bit more digging back here because I know that the PTO wiring is screwed up. But look here, see that? That was shorted out at one point to the point where it's melted this section pretty much together. So let me just go ahead and... Well, we got a fuse here. That's probably starter related, and that could be. It's completely blown. It's melted, like up in here. Okay. This may be the starter issue, so let me replace that real quick. Let's listen close. Oh, you hear that? Aha! Let's put a jump box on the battery and see if we can actually get this to start with the key. This problem started with this shorting. This is from the PTO where they tried to bypass all the safety stuff. This melted the fuse. And that fuse was causing the no start on the key. 
it just wasn't doing anything, wasn't sending power, wasn't doing anything. We could shut off the ignition, which is what was killing the tractor, and that was great. That was problem two. Problem three is this switch. It just blocks off power, is all this does. It just, you know, opens up and disrupts that, that electric flow. In that case, all you have to do is bypass it by jumping between those things. I had planned on actually fixing this, and, you know, maybe I will, but before I put that much time into it, because there may be other issues, I'm going to temper permanently do this. I call that a win. $125 for this tractor and it runs and it drives, it does the things minus mowing. But other than that, something that has t good tires and wheels that hold air, a good running 23 horsepower Kohler Pro motor, a good battery. I mean, <sighs> thumbs up for me. More importantly than that, it saves it from, you know, being trash or only relegated to like a parts tractor. And anytime you can save something that has potential, that's a win in my book. If you saw something that I completely missed or if you want to educate me on some things, I am totally cool with it. Don't worry, we'll get back on the fun stuff here soon enough. But I appreciate you hanging out and if you like this kind of thing, you don't know what I'm ever going to get into, then please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below. Until then though, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> see you later.